Cycloplegic refraction is an essential procedure in optometry that allows eye care professionals to accurately determine the refractive error of an eye. This method is particularly valuable in providing a comprehensive understanding of the eye's focusing capabilities. This procedure is particularly important for children and individuals who have difficulty relaxing their focusing mechanism during a routine eye exam. Children in particular often have a strong accommodation reflex, which can mask underlying refractive errors. By temporarily paralyzing the muscles responsible for focusing, cycloplegic refraction provides a more precise measurement of the eye's refractive state, ensuring the prescription of appropriate corrective lenses. This temporary paralysis is achieved through the administration of cycloplegic eye drops. Unlike a standard eye exam, which measures how well the eye focuses with the accommodation reflex active, cycloplegic refraction temporarily disables this reflex. This allows the optometrist to see the eye's true refractive error without the interference of the eye's natural focusing mechanism. This is achieved through the use of special eye drops called cycloplegic agents which relax the ciliary muscle responsible for changing the shape of the lens. These drops are carefully prepared and administered to ensure the best possible outcome for the patient. This relaxation prevents the eye from automatically adjusting its focus, revealing the true refractive error without the influence of the eye's natural focusing mechanism. The process is straightforward and typically well tolerated by patients. The procedure is particularly beneficial for children as their eyes are still developing and their focusing abilities may fluctuate. Early detection of refractive errors can lead to timely intervention and better visual outcomes. Cycloplegic refraction helps to uncover any underlying refractive errors that might be masked by the child's accommodation, leading to a more accurate diagnosis and treatment plan. This ensures that children receive the correct prescription, which is crucial for their visual development and overall learning. For adults, this method is useful in cases of latent hyperopia, a condition where the eye can mask farsightedness, potentially leading to headaches and eye strain if left uncorrected. Identifying and correcting latent hyperopia can significantly improve an adult's quality of life. In essence, cycloplegic refraction provides a clearer window into the eye's refractive state, ensuring that individuals receive the most accurate prescription for their vision correction needs. This accuracy is vital for both children and adults to maintain optimal eye health. This procedure plays a crucial role in maintaining optimal eye health and clear vision for people of all ages. By providing a precise measurement of refractive errors, cycloplegic refraction helps ensure that everyone can enjoy the best possible vision. Before initiating the cycloplegic refraction procedure, it is essential to prepare the patient adequately. This preparation involves several steps to ensure patient comfort and accurate results. Firstly, a detailed medical history should be obtained from the patient or, in the case of children, their parents or guardians. This history should include any pre-existing eye conditions, allergies, medications being taken and any previous experiences with cycloplegic drops. This information is crucial for the optometrist to determine the appropriate type and dosage of cycloplegic agent to use and to anticipate any potential complications. Next, the optometrist should explain the procedure to the patient in clear, simple language, addressing any concerns or questions they might have. For children, this explanation might involve using age-appropriate terms and even demonstrating the process on a toy or diagram. A clear understanding of the procedure can help to alleviate any anxiety and ensure cooperation, especially from younger patients. Finally, the optometrist should perform a preliminary eye exam to assess the patient's baseline vision. This may involve checking visual acuity using an eye chart, measuring eye muscle coordination and examining the overall health of the eyes. The results of this preliminary exam provide a point of comparison for the measurements taken after the cycloplegic drops are administered. The administration of cycloplegic drops is a key step in the cycloplegic refraction procedure. 
These drops are designed to temporarily paralyze the ciliary muscle, the muscle responsible for changing the shape of the lens inside the eye to focus on objects at varying distances. This paralysis is crucial for obtaining an accurate measurement of the eye's refractive error without the influence of the eye's natural focusing mechanism. By preventing the eye from adjusting its focus, the optometrist can get a true reading of the eye's refractive state. There are two main types of cycloplegic agents, atropine and cyclopentolate. Atropine is a long-acting agent that can take several days to wear off, while cyclopentolate is a shorter-acting agent with effects lasting for a few hours. The choice of agent depends on several factors, including the patient's age, the severity of their refractive error, and the optometrist's preference. Atropine is often used in younger children or in cases where a longer duration of action is needed. Cyclopentolate, on the other hand, is preferred for routine eye exams due to its shorter duration of action. The drops are typically administered in a controlled manner, with the optometrist carefully instilling one or two drops into each eye. Patients may experience mild stinging or burning immediately after the drops are instilled, but this sensation usually subsides quickly. It's important to reassure the patient that this is a normal reaction and will pass shortly. After the drops are instilled, the patient is typically asked to close their eyes for a few moments to allow the drops to spread evenly over the surface of the eye. This also helps to prevent the drops from spilling out and minimizes the risk of systemic absorption, which is particularly important for young children. Systemic absorption can lead to unwanted side effects, especially in younger patients, so this step is crucial. The optometrist will monitor the patient for any adverse reactions and provide guidance on what to expect as the drops take effect. In some cases, additional drops may be needed to achieve the desired level of cycloplegia, depending on the patient's response. Once the drops have taken full effect, the optometrist can proceed with the refraction test to determine the correct prescription for glasses or contact lenses. This process ensures that the prescription is accurate and tailored to the patient's specific needs, providing the best possible vision correction. Following the administration of cycloplegic drops, a waiting period is necessary to allow the medication to take full effect. This period is essential for the drops to properly paralyze the ciliary muscle, which is responsible for focusing the eye. This waiting period is crucial for ensuring that the ciliary muscle is sufficiently relaxed to allow for accurate measurement of the eye's refractive error. Without this relaxation, the eye might still be able to focus, leading to inaccurate results. The duration of the waiting period depends on the type of cycloplegic agent used. Different agents have varying onset times and durations of action, which can affect how long the patient needs to wait. For cyclopentolate, the waiting period is typically around 30 to 45 minutes. This time frame allows the drops to fully take effect, ensuring that the eye is properly prepared for the examination. During this time, the optometrist might engage the patient in conversation, especially if they are a child, to distract them and make the waiting time more pleasant. This interaction can help alleviate any anxiety the patient might feel. This is also an opportunity to further explain the procedure and answer any questions the patient or their parents might have. Clear communication is key to ensuring that the patient feels comfortable and informed throughout the process. In the case of atropine, which has a much longer duration of action, the waiting period can extend to several hours or even days. This is because atropine takes longer to fully paralyze the ciliary muscle. If atropine is used, the patient will need to return for the refraction assessment on a subsequent day, as the effects of the drops will not be immediate. This follow-up visit ensures that the eye is in the correct state for accurate measurement. This longer waiting period is more common when examining young children or individuals with accommodative issues that require a more prolonged paralysis of the ciliary muscle. These cases often need a more extended period to ensure the drops have fully taken effect. Throughout the waiting period, it's essential to monitor the patient for any adverse reactions to the cycloplegic drops. Regular checks can help identify any issues early and ensure the patient's safety. While these reactions are generally rare, they can include light sensitivity, blurred vision, and in some cases, allergic reactions. 
Patients should be made aware of these potential side effects so they know what to expect. The optometrist should advise the patient about these potential side effects beforehand and instruct them to report any unusual symptoms immediately. This proactive approach helps manage any adverse reactions effectively and ensures the patient feels supported throughout the process.